All right, you're excited because you've decided to go ahead and hire a content creator in your business. This may or may not be the first time you've decided to do this. It's very possible that you've hired a content creator before and you've been a little burned by the experience. Or it may be your first time because even though you've outsourced other pieces of your business before, your content just feels too personal and too hard to give to somebody else. So this is something you've always hesitated on. So I'm here to help you make the hiring process a little bit easier. So I'm gonna give you five different questions today that you could use to ask your content creators so that you can help determine whether they're gonna be a great fit for you and your business. Okay, let's jump in. So question number one, I think it's always great to ask a content creator, what is their favorite type of content to create and why? What you're gonna get from this is a bunch of different answers depending on the person. But this is really important for you to know what you're looking for. What are your strengths as a content creator? What are your weaknesses? If, like me, you really excel with long content, but that shorter, pithier stuff just takes a little longer to come to you, you may be wanting to look for somebody who can kind of fill in those gaps and do the things that you're not as adept at really, really well. So the other piece of this is you wanna see, is there a degree of excitement in their voice when they start talking about the different types of content that they like to create? Do they get really jazzed about creating emails? Are they really excited about creating courses? What is it that they just love more than anything in the world? This will tell you a lot about how their brain works and the types of projects that they prefer to be on. Because I don't know about you, but I really like to make sure that all of my team members are doing something they really enjoy as much as possible. So if you're like me and you wanna do that as well, it's just useful information to have. Okay, so that's question number one. What is your favorite type of content to create and why? Next up, what are the types of businesses you don't serve and why? So I think this is really important because it gives you an idea into their value structure. Now at this point, um, I can tell you all sorts of businesses that we do not serve. Maybe it's because they're just not a good fit for us in terms of the structure of the business, or maybe it's a poor alignment of values. But if you had caught me in the very earliest days of this business, I would have said, uh, I don't know, right? I would have said yes to just about anything at that point because I was experimenting. I was trying to get the experience and I didn't really have a clear idea of who I did and did not work with. So when you ask this question, it'll help you A, determine their level of expertise and experience. B, it'll help you determine their level of desperation. And number three, it'll help you understand whether or not you're a good fit for them in terms of the types of businesses that they try to serve. Okay, so the next question that I recommend you asking your potential content writer is, what kinds of information are you gonna need from me before you begin creating content? Now, if they give you kind of a vague answer like, oh, just whatever you can provide me, you know, that doesn't mean to count them out. It just may mean that you need to press them on it again or just see what happens as you dive in together. But chances are, if you're working with a content creator who's quite experienced and knows exactly what they're doing, they have a process, they're gonna know exactly what kind of information they're gonna need from you. They wanna know who your audience is. They wanna know who, um, you know, how they respond to things. They're gonna to want to know about all of the past content you've created that you're really proud of. They have all these questions, probably, within their process of what they need to know from you. They may, they may want to know what your team structure is like. They may want to know what kinds of programs you offer. What are the benefits of those? What are the conversion rates of those? Those programs. There's no really right or wrong answer here, but if they have very specific questions for you, or if they can say, these are the kinds of things that I'm going to want to get from you, then you know that they have some confidence and they have some expertise in what it is they're doing. They know exactly what they're going to need from you. And you can kind of see, is their brain really focused on data? Is their brain really focused on audience? Do they really focus on every piece of your business? Um, and that they have a strategic way of thinking about it. This will really help you understand how they're approaching your content and to see are they approaching it more as a strategist, as a churner. And again, there's no right or wrong answer here. It's just what you're looking for. 
this will give you an insight into who they are and how they could potentially complement your business. The fourth question that I recommend asking a potential content writer is, what's your timeline for creating content? It's really amazing the variation in timeline for content creators out there. And again, there's really no right or wrong answer around this. I do, however, believe that people who are clear about their boundaries and they're able to say X number of days or whatever the case may be, I need the information ahead of time. This again means that they are confident in standing up for themselves and that they're very much a professional and that they respect themselves. So, I would be on the lookout for clear evidence of boundaries within your content creator. Um, finally then, the last question that I would recommend you ask them is, what is your process like? And finally, this will help you understand, again, reinforce for you, how experienced are they? Are they experienced enough to the point where they really do have a process? Maybe there's certain technology they use. Maybe there's a certain number of rounds of revisions they offer, et cetera. That kind of information, A, is just important for you to know so that you know what to expect going into the arrangement. But it's also important for you to know so that, again, you can see how they think. See if they're gonna be a good complement to your business, to the people in your business with you. I would also suggest if you have an OBO, a project manager, or someone like that on your team, you allow them to be a part of this process because chances are they're going to be managing this content creator more than you are in terms of the project management side of things. So allow them to be a part of the process because they need to know who's going to be joining the team and what are the um, experience, the expertise, the personalities that they're bringing to the table. All right, I hope this has been helpful. Thank you so much for listening.